in the month of January, your mother asks you to take care of your dog out for a walk and then she would give you a pocket money of rupees 100 in January and from the next month onwards, rupees 20 additional. So that means if she gives you 100 rupees in January, she will give you 120 in February and after that increment of 20 every month. So that means in March how much she will give you? In March she will give you 20, that is this and an increment of 20. Similarly in April again an increment of 20 and similarly in May, June, July and so on. So you can see you are having 100 rupees in January, 120 in February, 140 in March, 160 in April, 180 in May and so on. Can you tell me whether this is an AP series? You know what is an AP series? Here you can see that 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, they are having a common difference of how much? Well, 20 is getting incremented each month. So the common difference is here is 20 rupees. So this is following an AP series because the common difference between any two terms here is constant, that is 20. You can also view it in this way. You can see 100, 100 plus 20, 100 plus 20 plus 20 and so on. And this is following an AP series because the common difference is increasing here, that is 20, right? Well, another way of viewing it is this. In Jan, in January you are getting a rupees 100. In February you are getting 100 plus 20. In March you are having 100 plus 2 into 20. So 20 is going on increasing, first 2 times 20, then 3 times 20, then 4 times 20 and so on, right? So what you are, can you see? In the case of 100, 120, 140, 160 and so on, what is happening? This 100 is constant and what is happening is 20 is increasing. So you can see multiples of 20 are increasing in this manner. So if the money in January is the first term of this AP series, that is 100, and the common difference is D, that is 20, then what can we see? The terms are increasing as A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D and so on. Have a look. If this is A, then this is A plus D, this is A plus 2 into D, that is A plus 2D, then A plus 3D, A plus 4D, A plus 5D and so on. So we can say if the first term is represented by A1, that means A first term and this is represented as A2, that means the second term of an AP series, then A3 third term of an AP series, then A4, that is fourth term of an AP series. So whenever we have to describe nth term of an AP series, we can write it as AN, first term means A1, second term means A2, so whichever term we want to describe, we will write it as AN. So you can say that A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D and so on, represent an arithmetic progression. We could see that where A is the first term and D is the common difference. So this is also called the general form of an AP. Now you have seen that we have listed it as A1, A2, A3, A4, where these are the, these terms of an AP. So A n represents nth term of an AP. So if A1, A2, A3, A4 can be found out like this, then nth term, how will be it found out? Well, you can see that A2 here, the common difference is only D. A3, that means 2D. A4 is represented by A plus 3D. So D is actually one less than this term. So this is how we generate the formula for A n. Again, let's recall. See, A1 is A. A2 is A plus D. A3, A plus 2D and so on. And A11 is A plus 10D, A12, A plus 11D. So what can you say? See, 
this term is actually minus 1 that is less than this term. So, if a n, we have to find out a n, what will we do? a will be constant, that is 100 rupees was constant, plus one term less than this, see, it is following the same pattern, one term less than this. So, n minus 1 into d, that is again constant with these. So, whenever we have to find out the nth term, we use the formula a plus n minus 1 into d. In this way, actually, what you can do, you do not need to calculate in this way. You are, if you want to say, have to find out how much money you will have in the 24th month, then will you count and see how much you will get? No, just put 24 here, write down the first term, write down 24 minus 1, and write out the common difference, and you will get the answer. So, you can say, that the nth term of an AP series with the first term as A and common difference D can be denoted by A n, that is A n which we have to find out is equal to A first term plus n minus 1, the term we have to find out minus 1 into D, that is the common difference. So, use this formula. Let us see how we can use this formula here. Halley's Comet last came close to the sun and became visible to the naked eye in 1986. Now, we have been given that its orbital period is 76 years. That means it will be visible after every 76 years. Calculate the year it will appear, 8th time. So, what you can do is, you can write 1986 plus 76 plus 76 plus 76, 8 times and then go on adding it. But you can say that this will follow an AP series because every 76 years it will be visible. So, adding every 76 years gives you an AP series because the common difference is constant, that is 76. So, let us use the formula we have just learned. That is a n, that is the nth term is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. Let us see what we can put here. What we have to find out is in which year it will appear 8th time. Right? So, you have to find the 8th term of the DP series. So, A8 is equal to A plus N minus 1. Now, N minus 1 is 8 minus 1, that is 7D. Right? We know that the 8th term will be always represented by A plus N minus 1, that is 8 minus 1, 7D. Now, put the values in this formula and solve. Let us put the values. Eighth term is equal to A. Now, what is A? First term, that is 1986. Plus 7D. So, 7 into, what is the common difference here? 76 years, because it will be visible after every 76 years. So, 76. Solve this, see what you get. And what you get is 2518. So, you can say that the year it will appear 8th time is the year 2518. So, this is how you calculate it when it will appear the 8th time instead of going on adding 76 8 times, right? Now, if I ask you, calculate the year it will appear 15th time. So, do it. We know we can use the formula instead of counting it up 15 times. So, nth term is a plus n minus 1 into d. Here, the nth term is which? We have to find the 15th term of this AP series. So, nth term is 15th term. So, a 15 is equal to a plus n minus 1, that is 15 minus 1, 14 d. Right? Now, let us just substitute the values given and we will get the answer. Do it. Now, A15, that is 15th term is equal to A, which is the first term, 1986, plus 14D, that is 14 into common difference, which is 76. Solve this, what do you get? You get 3050. So, that means Halley's Comet will appear 15th time in the year 3050. 
So now you know, whenever you have to find out the nth term of an AP series, that nth term can be whichever term you want to find out, second, third, fourth, 50th, 100th, even 1000th term if you want to find out, you can use this formula where nth term is A, that is the first term, plus n minus 1 into D, that is the common difference.